Is it right to ask public school parents to pay for field trips? What if they can't afford it? Some complaints came in. And that is why state officials are reminding schools about a state law that says families cannot be asked to pay for extra activities. Bill Rapley is live in East Greenwich now with those details. Bill? Well, that's right, Patrice and Jean. There is a law in the books that says you can't do that. The schools here in East Greenwich asked for guidance. The commissioner of education told them that the rule is you can't ask parents for extra money. These buses take students to school and sometimes on field trips. Whether it's to Mystic Aquarium to see the seals or Providence to see the food bank, the trips do cost money. The school district asked the Department of Education if it's okay to have families pay for the trips and it got an answer. You may not ask individual students and families to pay for field trips. You can fundraise, the PTO can fundraise for field trips. You can budget for field trips in the school budget. The principle is simple. Public schools are free, and they're free for all students, for all student programs and services. Adults today waiting to pick up middle school students get it. Especially East Greenwich. I mean, you know, it's a very rich community, but there's still people here who cannot afford to send their kids on all these different things. I do think it's unfair unless there's a fund that will make sure that everybody has an opportunity to go, because not everybody has the extra money. And the law does allow for fundraising, even donations from families, which is the solution for some people who support the trips and want everyone to be able to participate. I know myself as a grandma, I'd be very happy to help someone out if they needed to. Now, and we're talking about this in conjunction with field trips, but it also applies to sports teams, after school activities, even prompts. I'm Bill Rapley, NBC 10 News, live in East Greenwich.